Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? Pranav Jai Kumar here. A lot of you have been asking me, sir, do a quick video on the Hindenburg research and what are the key points of that particular paper. So this video is on that. A very very quick video. So please, before that, do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for such updates. Uh, so guys, I have gone through the hundred hundred plus pages of uh, report in depth, and I have come out with five. Uh, you know key pointers as to what are the observations of the hindenburg research uh, report now first of all before we go ahead what is this hindenburg research so hindenburg research is a what do you say for forensic investigation financial forensic investigation company and a short seller so what do they do before that why did this name come so hindenburg way back in 1937 as you can see in the picture there was a german airship called hindenburg many times before uh, people had gone on hydrogen filled uh, you know uh, airships and they had been destroyed but still there was this thing that this time something is different so they convinced almost 40 50 people to get on to this uh, what do you say airship with the most single most dangerous element hydrogen being pumped in and as usual it ended up in a blast killing almost 30 40 people so hindenburg is known as a totally man made disaster this was in 1937 taking the same name in 2017 mr anderson started this company called hindenburg searching for really man made disaster so they analyze the stock market they analyze various reports they analyze companies And 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 also, you know, convey to the people that whether this company is truly sound, are they doing the what do you say? Uh, are they playing by the rules, so to speak, or is something else going on? Is some manipulation going on? And what do they do before they you know give this report? They are like the vigilantes of the stock market. Before they what do you say? Issue a report, a in-depth report. What they do is they short the stock. Means they'll sell the stock. they release the report and once the report comes obviously the stocks will tank then they will buy and make a profit so they are like this uh, robin hood or the vigilantes of uh, what do you say stock market now i have read the report in detail and there are 88 questions posed by indenberg research to mr gautam adani so 88 questions in that all the gist of it i can you know so, uh, what do you say compress it to Concise it to five questions. First one: These are the allegations against Gautam Adani. Now Adani has already replied to this 400 pages. I am, you know, in the process of reading it. That I'll probably release a separate video. But anyway, these are the five allegations. Says very, very quickly. First one: Overstating the size and profitability of its business, concealing debts and liabilities. So these two points I would like to talk, uh, you know, together. so i'll throw some figures here to just know the extent of the entire allegations and also before the allegation what was the status so gautam adani added around 100 billion to his net worth in the past 3 years which is a staggering growth and all seven of his listed enti uh, entities uh, you know at least on paper they had a growth of almost 819% it is like staggering amazing you would have seen the growth 4 uh, 5 years ago you did not even know adani and today is one of the richest i mean just before this report in the world so all seven listed entities have actually as per this report have an 85% downside purely based on analysis of the fundamentals five of the seven listed entities of uh, you know mr kautam adani have current ratios below 1 so guys if current ratios below 1 it indicates what short term liquidity crisis now engaging in insider trading and market manipulation through benami companies or also called as shell companies creating demand and increasing the stock price on the adani shares the adani group is predominantly a family business where eight of the 22 key personals are all members of the adani family itself several of them are personally accused of uh, frauds market manipulation and they are known to create a vast network of you know shell companies so gautam adani's older brother in fact mr vinod adani was found to have uh, you know shell companies or benami companies in various countries like your cyprus mauritius uae prominently cayman islands Mo you know most of it are tax havens so to speak even uh, several caribbean islands as well so these 
uh, entities have absolutely no reported operations and absolutely nothing but they have moved billions and millions of dollars uh, you know and played around with the money among the um, adani group entities without making any disclosures because obviously in those places the regulation is not that great uh, these shell companies have just basically two main objectives one is stock parking so they'll park the stock of adani second stock manipulation and of course laundering money to various adani entities to just show a sign of you know financial healthiness when in fact it is not so so similarly misleading investors and regulators so four listed adani uh, entities have promoters acting as public owners of these uh, you know uh, companies through all shell companies these companies hold massive stakes in adani shares thereby you know the hindenburg report says they are actually misleading the public uh, again adani's offshore funds which have uh, portfolios which are totally blatantly against sebi regulations because all of it comprises of adani shares itself so that also it is it has been flagged down and uh, you know it also has around 30 to 47% of the delivery volumes a clear indicator of stock manipulation so in fact sebi has already started its investigation and before that also almost 70 companies it had struck down uh, alleging uh, serious fraud apart from that there is also this dubious connection with uh, ex employees and employees and also the deadly ketan parekh who was the protege of arshad mehta so he was a master manipulator in 2001 2002 ketan parekh scam also happened and uh, the financial extent still we are digging the last part is the statutory auditors of adanis are young cas now the question is shouldn't young cas obviously uh, if they are capable enough cannot can they not actually sign the balance sheet or is it that the the you know the volume of transactions and the turnover is so huge that is it possible that you know young cas cannot do it is the question so the independent auditor of adani enterprises and adani uh, you know gas is a tiny firm called uh, sha dhandaria uh, it seems to have no what do you say uh, history if you search for the same historical uh, archives of the website website only is not there but historical archives say they are paying some 32000 rupees rent for their office it just has around four employees uh, for four partners around 11 employees and uh, yeah they are now auditing the Uh, groups and are they capable of handling complex work is the first part uh, they respectively signed off on uh, adani enterprises and adani total gas annual audits and the partners are 23 and 24 so the allegations are they are just fresh out of school hardly in a position to understand uh, let alone sign the complex transactions of adani uh, gas and adani enterprises so this is also an allegation the among this and they have it's completely in depth the report it goes on you know to many many extent as to how uh, you know this fraud was done etc so this was the entire report these are the five elements this is split into 88 questions in the report uh, if you have the time and the interest you should definitely go back this will have far reaching repercussions already is uh, you know 20 billion wealth was wiped off in two days and of course hindenburg would have made a killing now the timing is also suspect people are telling so this is an objective assessment now the other party the they are saying that the timing is also very very suspect uh, because it is you know driven by china paid by china paid by our own snakes that we were rearing in the backyard here is what people are alleging who are supporting adani adani says all these things are blatantly you know false allegations and he has replied 400 pages for 109 pages odd report he has replied 400 pages and even to that in fact they, these people have already replied so is it a political game and also the proximity of adani towards the ruling government also has ruffled certain feathers so this is the overall picture guys so let's see i will also read the reply and probably do a video I'm little busy with other things but let me just find some time and read those so those of you are interested in financial markets this is the Uh, report that you should go through okay please uh, understand how it is done and it's a, a completely detailed report so please do it okay on that note uh, please offer your thoughts also are you on adani side is it an attack on india or is it in another case of 
satyam now coming or asatyam so to speak please put your comments guys very very important please like share and subscribe this video take care